Hello friends, I'm Varun Vora. Welcome to my channel, IT with Varun, to master the fundamentals. Friends, as we are making progress on our ITGC journey, I got a few questions related to the completeness and accuracy area, which I decided to cover in this separate video today, as it may help all of you. So friends, just to recap from my earlier video on completeness and accuracy, where I, I created a separate video for this on this topic which I would recommend to watch first before coming to this one completeness and accuracy check is performed on all evidence received which can come from an application server database or any other system to ensure it is complete and accurate mostly the evidence is either in the form of screenshots or Excel exports word documents and the like so that's just a kind of recap of what this completeness and accuracy area entails. <clears throat> the question we have here, and I've listed that on the board as well, is as an IT auditor, one will only review evidence shared by the audit or technical team provided based on the company policy we have. So that, that is the question we have um, from few of you. From a response standpoint the answer is yes but this step is in place when we talk about this step which is completeness and accuracy this is in place to ensure what has been provided by the technical teams is complete and accurate and again the basic mantra in a risk audit or compliance assessment is to trust but verify therefore you need to verify the completeness or accuracy of the evidence provided. You can do that through a couple of means, which I've also discussed in my other video, which was full, solely focused on complete, completeness and accuracy. Again, I dived into a much more nuances in that video, but the two basic steps when we talk about how can we verify completeness or accuracy, how can we trust but verify is through two simple means. One is the discussion with the technical teams on how the evidence was generated or pulled from any of these systems the second one is a self review based on your own technical expertise in the area which is looking at the steps query and the output and if you go through all my itgc testing videos friends i always provide insights on where and how the evidence can be can be pulled especially from a server or database because that's where things are a bit more complex on the infrastructure side the sole purpose behind sharing those insights is to enhance the technical knowledge and to make it much easier to perform this completeness and accuracy step which is a key for any assessment because once you know what steps are expected for the technical teams to perform you can very well perform a self-review very easily on your side so just to sum it up, the question was around if you are an IT auditor and you receive evidence from the technical teams, you are only supposed to review what you have received. Short answer is yes, but it comes with a caveat. As an auditor, the whole job is to trust but verify from a completeness and accuracy standpoint and what the technical teams are providing or handing over to you you can do it through a couple of means which is either you can sit with the technical teams and discuss how they pulled and generated that evidence that will provide the assurance around the completeness and accuracy the second is performing a self-review based on your own technical expertise and the number of steps i have been detailing in my videos as well from different infrastructure layers especially servers and databases on what those technical steps will look like which technical teams will be following to generate the evidence. So I hope the video helped clarify this question related to an important key step across all of IDGC testing, which is completeness and accuracy. Friends, if you have more such questions, please don't hesitate to reach out through the YouTube comment section and I'll be happy to create a separate video if required. Thanks as always. See you next time. Till then. Bye.